What's up everyone, it's Chachi Power here to do a new review. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a regular review on a robot. Uh, today it's not going to be a die cast robot, it's actually going to be this little, uh, which I believe is an underrated toy. So I'm actually thinking about doing a few um, videos about underrated toys that I believe are underrated but are actually really good. But we're going to start off with this one, this is Baldios. I think it's Space Warrior Baldios, if I'm correct or not correct. And this is by Yamato. Uh, this is part of their GNU Do series. Uh, so let's get started. This here, like I said, it's part of their lineup of, I'm not going to say they're Revoltic like figures, but, uh, you know, stuff comes off. They're almost like the uh, Gun Gundam kits, you know, with the little plastic caps and everything. And I don't know, I was just by my display case and I noticed him and I'm I'm actually really happy with this figure so I wanted to show you guys what's going on because he is actually very cheap at the moment. I think I paid ten dollars ship for this guy. I think he's worth much more. Uh for the fact alone that the paint apps are incredible on this. I mean incredible. There's no overspray, everything's perfect. Even the uh if we can get in here close as possible the panel lining is perfect that's not anything I've done with a marker that's how it comes right out of the box um, the paints have a nice matte finish there's no chrome they actually made these white so they kind of you know match up to the anime uh, let's see what else we got here here's more panel lining on the gray area here now the uh, chest plate, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paint app. There's no overspray whatsoever. It's razor sharp paint applications, which is always a big plus. Same thing with the face. My camera sucks at zoom. There we go. You know what? Let me just take it off the uh, uh, tripod and try and get as close as possible to the face so you guys can there you go take a look at the face paint applications are superb I don't think I've ever used the word superb in my videos but it's that's what it is it's superb here's a back with a nice white finish it's like a matte finish everything's pretty much matte that's painted which is really cool gives it a nice high-end feel And let's take a look at the chest here, if we can. Doesn't want to zoom. I uh, guess I should turn a macro on. There we go. Look at that. Really nice. Now some of you may not be fans of Baldios or any of those old 70s super robots. But uh, I think we can all agree this is a pretty sharp looking figure. So let me just tighten this here so we don't lose control of this camera and I'm going to go over the uh, articulation a bit. I'm going to start off with the head. It's on a ball joint and it's very very firm. Twists from side to side. Then you got these shoulder pieces which are also on ball joints on the top and the bottom. It's like a little <clears throat> I don't know if you can see. You see that the top and the bottom have a ball joint and that little rod. Okay, um, got the shoulders, and this arm likes to pop out. And you know, it's got the same thing a rod right there. Let me see if I can show you guys that a little bit better. There's a rod right there. Same thing as a shoulder joint, give you a ball joint on each end. Got the elbows here. Now it's a double jointed elbow, sort of. And allows for pretty good articulation, but if you go too far, obviously it's gonna pop out. Like I said, these are like Gundam style caps. And let me just show you the joint. 
It's not a Revoltec joint, but you'll see the dual joints there. Let's pop that back in. What's great is uh, basically the idea behind these figures was they can have a basic frame or chassis, whatever you want to call it, and they could just add body panels to basically make whatever robot they want. Um, so you'll see these joints appearing in other versions of these figures. Uh, as we move down, we have an upper joint. We have a little bit of a waist joint. It's a little bit limited. Now we get down to the legs, uh, which are on ball joints and swivels. We have a little bit of movement back and forth here, which is pretty much limited, you know, to the uh, the skirts here. Which actually, look at that, move out of the way. Never even knew that. Which is pretty neat. I've had this figure for over a year. Never knew the skirts moved because they're pretty, they're on there pretty good. Not a lot of uh, floppiness. And as we move down, we get down to the knees, which are also uh, double jointed. So let's see what kind of a range we get, which is uh, actually really, really good range. See that? Then to close them, just got to work with the knees a bit there. But uh, oop, there's an arm again. I just don't have it pushed in all the way. Basically, that's your figure there, guys. It's beautiful. It's Baldios. If you're a fan of Baldios and you don't have this totally missing out because the only other versions of Baldios are very expensive uh, there is the originals which go for like ridiculous money and then there's also the CMs which is pricey but you know cheap if you know where to look and I forgot to go over the feet I don't know how I forgot that got some uh, good ankle movement here and he's got toe movement look at that really good figure and the reason I call this underrated is because number one it didn't sell very well uh, you know the low price that they sell it for now explains it and uh, you know these things pop off I don't know if that had anything to do with the uh, line pretty much disappearing but I mean it does stay together you know what I mean if you're moving it around obviously it may slide out and that's something you guys can uh, fix with um, What's that called? Nail polish or whatever. So it's not really an issue. It's not really that big of a deal. I mean, the figure will stay together. But overall, beautiful figure. I suggest you comb eBay or your favorite Japanese store. Look in the for sale section, clearance section. These guys are usually hanging out there. And if you get a chance, look up Go Shogun also. They have that figure, which I'll probably be doing a review for in the near future but uh that's it for this review so uh stay tuned for more